All right, today we are adding images to our retro Amazon full stack application. And so right now our books don't have images and the intent is to fix that. And so uh, one dependency that will be new to our projects, if I go to npm.js, um, Multer is a middleware for handling uh, form data, which is primarily used for uploading files. And so, um, you know, we haven't allowed a user to upload a file until now. And so, of course, we need to bring this in on our back end. Um, Multer adds a body object and a file object to the request object. So you bring in Multer here, import Multer. So here's our form. It says uh, Multer has a body object. And a file, body object and a file object to the request. The body object contains the values of the text fields. The files object contains the files uploaded. So we're going to be interested in that. You know, at the end of the day, we have an input type of file on the front end. Um, so if you guys remember that in HTML, input type of file. Um, this is what we're going to be using on our front end and allows this kind of functionality for the end user to browser local file system. So this is the tag on the front end and this is the dependency on the back end. Here's the input type of file. Uh, so then kind of look at this here on our express just looking at the docs and here upload single notice the avatar the name matches the input and now it says rec.file is the avatar file. So that's pretty simple. And then it says restbox body will hold the text fields if there were any. Um, and so we were reading the text fields a different way, but that's kind of cool that it adds the text fields to rec.body. Um, so it's just another way of reading those fields. Um, so that's that's kind of cool. Upload single, just bringing in Multer. So let's kind of install Multer on our back end. And let's import Multer. Now, um, Right now, I'm just thinking I'm going to do that in my book module. Import Multer from Multer. Um, What this doesn't necessarily talk about is saving the file, right? So once we have the file,
Uh, we got to talk about where they should be stored. Now, do you store the image in the database or do you store it like in an images directory in, in the app, right? So, um, if you're not, if you you can, what you can do is you can store the the file name in the database as a string, and then save the image outside of the database. Um, or do you save the image itself in the database? It's kind of a couple of approaches. Um, Let's just see if we can't get the, the data from the front end to the back end and into our route. So um, let's, let's just take that example on the docs and kind of start with that, right? Where we have an uh, input type of file and with a name, and then we're going to upload single um, so notice here, right on the docs, we're gonna bring in a, a variable called upload, and the destination is an uploads directory. So this isn't really storing it in, um, this looks more of like a local path, an uploads destination, but that's okay. We'll start there. And so let's bring in that line of code. And then back to the docs. Upload single. And then this is installed as middleware for this route. So on our, this will be on our add route. Go down to add and what is the name of our control I'll just call it uh, book pick how about that <coughs> Therefore, let's go to our front end. Um, looks like we have a bunch of state hooks. So let's do const book pick, set book pick. And I want to make sure that there's something in there. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. So add a book. Here's all of our pieces of data. So we're just going to add comma book pick, which is our hook that we just added. But uh, before we even start working on that, let's let's uh, let's add the control here. We're down here, here, description. Okay, now again, the ID is book pick and we need a name of book pick. So that's the one thing that the docs had the name attribute on the input control. And, you know, there needs to be some sort of handling here to make sure you're just getting the right kind of, you know, you're getting JPEGs, you're not getting like, movies or whatever, any other file types, right? So our validation on this um, 
needs to make sure the file type is correct. Um, let's close the div. Yes, sir. Input type of, oh, good eye. Um, uh, file, input type of file. And Again, kind of going back here, now that I have book pick, let's just see. I'm going to do const file is rec.file. Again, it did say rec.file is the avatar file. So let's just see if our file has anything in it. So I'm going to, the file is file. And this is when we're going to add a book. Um, let's, let's see what we got. NPM, yep. That's, yeah, good observation, thank you. Uh, so, well, here we have on change set book pick. Did you get that piece? Uh, yes. Okay, that's, yeah, we're calling the set book pick here on change. Oh, I, I didn't know if there was a method, if it needed to be one in the back end as well. Uh, Ultimately, we're going to have to do something with the file. I just want to make sure that we're receiving the file first. Okay, so I'm just kind of taking small pips. I'm also going to take off this value of book pick right here. And I don't know. Maybe I want to take that out. Maybe I want that in there. I'm going to take it out for now. So now, now let's boot up our back end. Um, NPM runs start dev okay let me as I always have to reboot this thing try again cool now let's get our front end going npm run dev and 51.73 on localhost And let's get that council going. And clear out the council. Let's log in. Okay. All good stuff here. Let's add book. Now browse picture. Okay. So. I always forget my requirements here. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I forget exactly how many. How to code two. And well. Let's just see what kind of images are out there for how to code. Okay, this one looks fine. Now, um, there are some inherent restrictions. Um, I'm just gonna call this download JPEG on my desktop. Uh, in Mongo, uh, file size restrictions, I wanna say like 16 meg, you know, there, you can only have images up to so big, you know, 7K is my download file. So uh, if I go, here and I find my download, I click open. 
Okay. Okay, well, I'll have to address that. So let's click Add Book. And really, I'm just looking on my back end. Um, so no front end errors. I do get an error. Let's see if it hits my back end. And this ad route does not appear to be running. Uh, let me look a little deeper into this error message. It's probably going to be, if I dig down, I bet you this is uh, my joy, is what it's looking like to me. But let me get into the data error. OK, yeah, there it is. Book pick is not allowed. So just temporarily, I'm going to take off my schema. You know, you should update this for the book pick, but let's Let's just temporarily, I'm going to take that out to get around it and back into here, clear out my console, add book. Okay. Okay. Now back into my back end and see that we received said book. File is undefined. Okay. Let's see why it's currently undefined. First thing I'm going to look is to make sure it is, in fact, inside of a form tag. Of course, it needs. Okay, now here's something the action slash profile method. Oh, enc type. So this might be a requirement that I left off. Um, Don't forget the enc type multi-part form data in your form. So let's let's bring that in. Makes sense uh, that you got to follow the docs. So here's my form tag. So let's go up there. And it says use enc type capital T. So I'm going to follow that recommendation. Okay, third time to charm. Now, if I actually uh, go into my database, it might actually have saved that book. So I'm just going to delete it so I don't end up with a lot of these. How to code two, yeah. Okay, well that's good. It does have a uh, fake path. It's interesting that C fake path download JPEG. <laughs> so we're obviously going to need to change that path, but we are uh, even getting as far as to saving a path to the database, which is good. So let's just trash that. And add book. Okay, so book added, back to the back end. It's unfortunate, it says the file is undefined, still. 
Um, okay, next up, uh, to get that book into the back end, we're going to have to modify our Axios call. Um, And so one thing, there's a couple of things. So here's our add. And Here's all our fields, there's navigate, on add book, all of our if statements. Here I'm going to add a form data, const form data equals new form data, and form data append ISBN, our title, our author, genre, uh, publication year, this is publication year, price, description, um, so this one here is the oddball because in our database it's called publication year and on our form it's called year. Um, and then we'll write like an if, if book pick has a value, uh -huh. let's append book pick. Um, try and get our book pick sent across in this form data instead. And then instead of passing our object here, we just pass form data. Du, 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 du. Form data. And then after with credentials, I'm also going to say headers. And it, this is telling Axios to accept form data. Okay, now. Go back to our back end. So rec.file, let's also try debug book. So new book should maybe since this file isn't working now, now I'm trying to get it sent across in new book. And I'm going to stringify new book. And new book should have a property called book pick. Let's see if we can get the file sent across that way. I'll go down here to my set book pick. Where's Here. 
set book pick. I'm going to change this EVT target files sub zero. That might be the correct way to extract the first file. Okay, add book. Let's refresh. Delete this again. Let's take a look at our back end. Okay, ISBN, genre fiction, publication year, price, description. Okay, now we at least get the file. Good, good, good. The file is beautiful. So maybe the problem, Maybe the problem originally was the way that our front end was sending the file. I think that might have been it. This piece right here, file sub zero, is the correct way of sending more than a string. Um, so I think that might have been the root problem. I, I don't think we needed this refactor of form data on the back end, although it's still, you know, the book is still being sent across. And if I refresh this, um, description. Okay, so notice that our book does not have a file property here, um, which is fine at this point. The main thing I wanted to do is get that file sent to the back end, which I've done that. The file is right here. It's got a file name. It's got an original file name. It's got an encoding, a meme type, a destination, which is the uploads folder. Um, some sort of file name encrypted and again a path so all sorts of all sorts of data about our file and that's kind of like the first step I wanted to get the file from the front end into the back end and and I did that um, and again I don't think I needed to refactor the uh, form data as I did um, however this headers Getting that also is uh, probably something you need to set in when you're sending your Axios request to set this multi part form data. Um, so it might have been two, two things that I had to fix, and I think, I think those were two parts of the solution. Um, okay. Okay, so we're back here, and again, I kind of talked about there are different approaches to uh, saving images. And so, the, you know, do you save it on the server's hard drive, or do you save it in the database? And um, we are going to choose, as is recommended here, uh, to store in the database, we're just going to store the path in the database. So notice here, it's like, hey, we have a path called uploads and then the, the file name. And so we're going to save the path to the database. And then we need to notice we have an uploads folder. Now this, this file is saving its encrypted file name, but kind of like behind the fact here, I mean, this folder was created for us and um, there you have it you know uh, it must have been um, this middleware upload single book pick that that uh, created this uploads folder 
Um, so notice it actually already saved. Now it is saving a uh, you know an encrypted file name. So here, kind of looking at the book, we've got the encrypted path, but then also kind of the original name is this download JPEG. So obviously encrypted that that name. Uh, you know that must be a part of the encrypted. Probably it's, you know, I think it's okay, right? So it just, um, again, kind of taking a look at the, the path here. So what I can do at this point, since we are getting our file, um, we could do something like this. If file is truthy, then let's take the new book Um, the property in the database we'll, we'll use is image path. New book dot image path property equals file object path property. Okay. So Again, just make sure that the book's not in there. I've got 11 books and um, as I go into Firefox here and I go to my add book, and download JPEG, I'm gonna click add book. Okay, we're added, and if I kinda go back here and refresh, I've got 12 books, and if I scroll down, here's my image path with the uploads directory with the encrypted file name. Okay, so again, small incremental steps. Um, so this is good. Now, of course, we should have an image path on our front end, right? So here's our ad book. So let's go to our book item. And, you know, I don't want to do this on everyone, but let's, let's go to a card. Um, cause the card has a way on, um, get bootstrap to kind of show images inside of a card. So card, oops, card, and uh, images. So right underneath, so right after the opening div class of card, you just throw your image right at the top and that's above the card body. So here's the card, and there's a card header. Okay, now what I wanna do is I wanna say, if the book um, dot, and again, it's, it's uh, image path, then let's display that image path. Had my closing curly. And put the book title in the alt. Class name of image fluid is a responsive. So if the book has an image path, then display an image with that image path. Now, um, the only thing that's left um, yeah I don't think this is gonna work but let's let's kind of go here 
refresh my book lists and Jeez, the issue your front end is different from your back end. Um what do you mean by that? Your front end's in a different folder, right? They're separate. Yeah, they're they're very separate. Yeah. So it yeah, so that, that picture because you saved it to the back end. I saved it in the back end, right? So here it's obviously not working. That's showing the image. So uh, this uploads is not a folder that's on my front end, is what you're saying, and you're you're correct about that. Um, so let's think about that. Okay, so here's what I'm going to try. So um, notice uh, I'm not I, I'm serving everything up inside of public, but my uploads is not inside of public. Uh, I I want to put uploads inside of public, or or what I need to do is I just put everything inside of public images, right? I don't even need an uploads folder, but but maybe we keep uploads. We just put uploads inside of public, and so. Um, What I can do then is I'm going to install this middleware. So right now this is only available on this route. Um, but maybe we can install it on app and make it available on all of our routes. So anyways, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring um, Molter up to my server JS. and my upload variable. I'm gonna change my destination to public uploads. Okay, so to make Molter available globally, we're going to add an app.use. Let me go down here. Um, put it right here. So app.use upload.any. Any means except files on any route. Okay. Now, back on my ad. <coughs> Let's see if that refactoring, what it broke. Okay, so now it doesn't understand upload single, so I'm going to take that off. Okay, and now we'll see if file is still recognized or if I broke something. Uh, no. Um, file is JSON. Okay. So I'm going to, again, kind of bring it in on the whole server, change my destination inside of public and then we're serving up public so everything underneath public should be available to our front end and let's see what breaks so again back into our front end console get rid of that add book I'm not trying to inspect you I'm trying to use you okay Again, uh, I'm going to delete this one. So we have 11 records. I 
Okay. Okay, it says it's added. Let's hit the back end and see. Okay, we're back to file is undefined. And so um, I wonder what I had before. It was not upload any. It was what the docs had. Which was upload single. With the, uh, I think we called it book pick, was the name. So let me go back to here, add book, and the name is book capital P, book pick. Okay, so getting that actually. Now that should be available on all routes. We hit the new rec.file, file is file. Let's see if that fixes it. Okie dokie. Aha, uh -huh. we're, we're back in business. So uh, file is located. So getting that middleware installed, uh, again, there's maybe some different values you could put into that middleware string. Um, but this is getting the file back to the back end. And now inside of public, we have uploads. Okay. So now to access that from the front end, um, Now we're talking, and if I go here and refresh my database, okay, we're public uploads. How about it? Now it is missing the file type, so that was an observation that you made. Um, yeah, somehow we're gonna have to get back to that original yeah, file name. Question: Is there a way just to store it without? Maybe, maybe that's what we do. Maybe that's what we do. Um, but I, you know, it is putting that in there. So I, I don't know. So let's let's kind of um, let's go to the front end now. Okay, and this is on a book item. The image path is there, and I again. Um, Let's go here, and I gotta find my book, how to code, how to code too. So let me kind of inspect this. So, okay, so there's public uploads. So the question is what URL would actually get me to the image, right? So probably you gotta chop off the public So what path will get me there? Is it slash uploads? Uh, what? Report for the back end. Slash. Okay. 
Well, notice my source is still backslashes as if it's a local file system. So I got I got to figure this out. Uh, uploads. Hmm. You have a different route for your backend, don't you? For like a port on the local host? That I do, but keep in mind it should serve that uploads, it should serve the public folder. But you're not calling the backend port. Yeah, that's true. Hmm. Okay, I think there's quite a few more steps. Um, what I do want to do is kind of get the. Uh, kind of the default of what's being saved here in this uploads directory um, to change and so we are getting it in the right location which is public uploads um, but I'm gonna change this line 15 a little bit to save what's being saved in that uploads folder um, so Okay, so destination will be what we had before, which is public uploads. And then we're going to say file name. And let's see. that might be all that's needed to get it to store that differently and then here instead of this we're going to say storage okay so getting these images to save differently on the back end Okay, now let's go to our back end and see what's saved. Data. Interesting. File, original name, original name, download JPEG. My mistake is that I need curlies around this multer. That should make a difference. Reboot. Back up. Now we got download JPEG saved in there. Okay. All right. Very good. Okay. Um.
So we are serving up Express Static Public. So I believe now from our front end that this is being served up and we got download JPEG. So now let's see if we can hit that localhost 3003 slash, we don't type in public, we're going to type in uploads slash, and we might get a course thing here, but I don't think so. Download JPEG. Aha! Progress is made. So now our back end is serving up images to our front end via this URL. So pretty easy from this point. And it took a couple bumps to get here, but boy, I'm glad we're here. Um, so book slash image pass. Let's see what image path is in our database. If I refresh this, we get 12 books. Okay. Notice image path has our uploads slash download JPEG. Upload, download, that's confusing. So we don't need the public. We got to trim off the public on the way in. I'm going to take off public on the way in. And presumably that's going to be on add book. And if book pick, um, book pick has the word public in it. Um, so here's, here's a challenge, coding challenge. We have a string, it includes the word public and we want to remove a public folder from the path. Now, what does that even make it? Book pick. There is no dot name. Book pick is a string. Slice one. Um, so, again, the the path is what is this. So So we what we want to do we want to turn eh, into uploads. So sure replace replace I don't think there is a dot path. Book pick replace the word public. Now, also keep in mind image path, book pick, path replace public. So now, hold on, um, and let's um, You know what, let's do this on the... <coughs> I'm doing this in the wrong spot. That needs to stay the same. We're not doing this on the way in, let's do it on the back end. So on our back end, on our book, route, add book. Okay, file.path. So let's modify so here again. So 
So let's see. This should modify new books image path, replace the public, and two slashes to represent a single slash with an empty with an empty string. So uh, new book image path replace public. So let's see. This is what on you know. This is what's being saved in the database. Um, so I'm going to delete this file here, as well as these old ones. Okay, and now what we save in our database should not have the public directory in it. Hosts. Okay. Add book. Okay. Kind of going here. Refreshing my books. Okay. Slash uploads slash download jpeg cool so now we don't have the public directory anymore and just to double check our uploads ha directory has a download jpeg in it and so now on the front end again we have to access um, a Backend port. Um, so let's let's put, look at our ENV local. We already have um, Vite API URL. This is on our front end. Um, so we we already have an environment variable pointing at our backend. So we should be able to use that which would be here if the book has an image path then let's take our environment variable uh, what do we call it? Vite API URL plus book item. So here we're going to say um, getting that pro it's not that, it's process dot env I'm going to put this in I'm not sure if this concatenation is going to work. Process env vite api url, which is our local host 3003, plus the book image path. Whoops. So that's kind of where I'm at right now to try that out. And uh, something broke. Process is not defined. Yeah. Okay. So that's. Make sure that this is the current way. Because uh, I thought process.env was the old way. How did I access this already? So let's look at maybe our book editor. Yeah, this is the new way. Import meta.env. And I need to get those in. May, I might need to do backticks. Okay, so if there's an image path, import meta env plus the book image path. I'm very close. I believe I'm close. Okay, let's see what it's generating here. 
So look at that. We just need a slash. Localhost 3003 slash uploads. And it's also forward slashes. And then that works. So I just got to get the backward slashes to go forward. <laughs> and then we have images working. Um, so let's go to add book. Um, book item. Um, okay, so let's do this here and here. And we're going to do that. Okay, that's a step closer. And then the last thing we need is that instead of that being a backslash, we need to flip that to a forward slash. So backslash is on local file system, forward slash is in URLs. Um, so that's that. So now to our front end, kind of refresh this. Actually, no, it figured it out. So if there's an image being served up by our back end, there she is. Okay, now let's test it from the ground up. Let's get a new image. Um, Whatever, I'm just going to save image as Google Cloud Desktop Cloud Logo dot SVG. Oh, I don't want an SVG. I want something simple like a JPEG. Uh, Rankin file save image as. Why are you blocking your images? Google search for Rankin. Go to images. File, save image as, desktop, rank in, JPEG. Okay, now let's add a new book. Test it from the ground up. How to rank in, author, price, a book, picture, Rankin JPEG, add book. Price is too much money. Okay, there she goes. Um, so if you follow this video from the start till now, there, there were definitely speed bumps, there were definitely bumps. Um, however, uh, we have a back end where we can add new entities, uh, save those entities on the server on our back end in an uploads folder inside of public. Oh, this is my old uploads folder. I'm going, what's, what's this uploads folder? We're not using you. We're using public uploads, right? So save the file on the server's disk inside of your uh, public uploads uh, to serve up. You are, you're already serving up public with Express Static serving up public folder. And then this just changes the file name to not be the encrypted file name or whatnot. Um, 
So yeah, multi-part process. Getting rid of uh, the public part of the path. Saving just a string then, saving a string image path in the database. And we have a working file upload.